Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. The Microsoft Edge sidebar is a feature that Microsoft has been testing in the Edge Canary browser and also um, in the other preview versions of um, the Edge browser on desktop as I have been posting over the last couple of months. Now, as posted previously, over the last month or so, Microsoft has rolled out the sidebar and started rolling out the sidebar to the stable version of Edge on desktop, although currently still on a controlled staggered rollout. So if you are not seeing the sidebar uh, in the stable version, uh, just be patient as um, um, you should be getting that in the near future. Now, I did post a video about four weeks ago that in Edge Canary, which is a preview version of the browser, Microsoft had um, added six new social media account quick actions to the sidebar as options um, for different quick action buttons um, in the Edge Canary browser. And once again, just a quick video to keep you updated and in the loop in case you're interested, that once again, if we head to customer sidebar, I have noticed um, in the overnight update that Microsoft has started to roll out uh, Gmail and YouTube now as um, options for the sidebar and quick actions now for the sidebar. So um, over and above the add current page as posted previously where you can add any current page to the sidebar like I have with my uh, YouTube channel. Um, you get, and as posted previously, you get Deezer, Apple Music, Spotify, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp. Those were the six new social media accounts. Now Microsoft has made Gmail available and YouTube available as quick actions. And just, and by the way, while we're talking about these um, customizing the sidebar, the only quick actions that are available in the stable version at this stage are Search, Discover, Tools, Games, Office, and Outlook. Drop, which uses OneDrive and eTree and all these other social media accounts as posted and add current page are not available currently in the stable version. So just take note of that. Now we can obviously toggle those on. And if we head now to the sidebar over and above having Outlook as an email client, if you use Gmail like I do, that's now added. And this is a little feature I'm quite excited about as I do use Gmail. So this should be rolling out in an up and coming stable version in the future. And uh, um, if we click on that, it opens up Gmail in a much larger side panel to the other quick actions. So as an example, if I open up the tools, we can see it's a much smaller side panel. But if I open Gmail, that side panel is extended and you cannot um, you cannot alter the, the actual size of that side panel. That's the default. And um, that gives you access to Gmail. And we can also open that in a new tab if you want to access Gmail in a whole new new tab page. And then as mentioned, we also get YouTube, which is also in a slightly enlarged site panel. And um, just on a side note regarding YouTube, which also you can open up in a new tab page, by the way. If I just head to any video here, I'm just going to click on this video here. There is another little option that's become available. You can see here that um, there's a little um, playback control button that, is, that appears. And if I actually minimize that and I hover and I actually hover on that, it opens up a playback control a little menu where I can actually um, pause that, play that. And then if, if I'm in a playlist or whatever, I can actually um, go to the previous track and the next track. So that's a new little feature that Microsoft has also started to test in YouTube. And I think that'll be quite handy. Um, as an example, if you are listening to music, um, you can just pause that or play that without actually having to open up the side panel. So I just wanted to let you know um, that um, those options now, Gmail and YouTube with that um, playback control button are now available. And Microsoft has started to test those in the um, the, the quick action sidebar in Edge Canary. And as mentioned, if you want to toggle those off, you can just come back and you can just customize the sidebar um, to your own personal choice and preference. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.